sure is worth a try. There we go. And then, how's it going, guys? Hope you all keep in well. You can see it's not very really warm in the sky. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rebuild your brake calipers. So in this particular video, it was a BMW 330Ci M Sport. And obviously this applies to any brake rebuild, really. Um, some of them are slightly different, like the rear ones, if you want to rebuild your rear brakes, because you've got to sort of twist the pistons out on some of these calipers. And in some of them, you don't have to. You can just simply pull the piston out. So the main reason I actually rebuilt this caliper was because it was actually having a bind on one of the wheels, the front wheels. It was actually heating up and you could feel that the car wouldn't like roll freely. It would like, when you get to a traffic light, it would like jolt a bit, you know, it would like stop. So that's what just initiated me rebuilding the caliper instead of buying another one because it's sometimes cheaper. The parts were only 20 something pound. So a new caliper would be in the hundreds a used one you don't know how long it's gonna last so I thought you know what just rebuild it and you know you've pretty much got a, a new caliper for what 20 odd quid so yeah that's what obviously made me rebuild that um, and yeah if you watched my 300 bhp golf GTI build you'd have seen that I rebuilt all the calipers front and rear um, but I didn't show a video of that it was more just pictures so yeah at least you guys can see um, you know the process of how a caliper is rebuilt and hopefully you can do it by yourself. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into it hey. Hello guys um, Today I'm gonna rebuild my caliper for my BMW 330 Ci M Sport and um, this, I think this is a, I don't know if it's a bigger caliper on the 330Ci, but nevertheless, I've ordered my kit from um, Big Red. They do a lot of brake rebuild kits, and um, it was only 20 quid off eBay. So yeah, I'll see what's, what's in here. You can order it sometimes without the piston, but I just ordered it with, with the brake piston itself. in there so we have a piston as you can see brand spankers and our rebuild kit yeah. okay so we've got a nipple um, cover the covers for the ends the rubber gator boot goes over there the inner seal and these go inside there so there you have it the camera can see that yeah so that's what you get and obviously you get some silicone grease to lube it up um, you know when you when you're putting back all the new parts so I'll put that to one side for now all right so first things first is we need to get that piston out so I've put some paper down because there's still fluid it's coming out of here. My car was actually um, binding on the front brake. So, as you can see, there's the numbers if that's your caliper. But, as I say, it might be different, the 330Ci to, to the other ones. So, get my trendy picker tool, as I always call it. And try and strip this thing off here. Yeah, you can see how knackered that is. I mean, look at it. It's not even old in shape. So, and then next is our piston. Well, in fact, we'll take these off in the meantime. Screw 
んじゃないですかねsome pressure now let's see what trick we can use um an old glove perhaps oh, yeah. so we've got an old glove like the ones i wear so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and create a sort of a valve I don't know if this will work, but it sure is worth a try. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Did you hear that? Like a bomb. Piston's not too bad, so I don't know why um, it was misbehaving. That worked well, didn't it? Let's get that cloth over here. Right. So let's get rid of that. Brake fluid is deadly on paint, so be careful whatever you do. Can be messy as well. So that's our piston off. Piston looks perfect, actually. I thought the piston would be knackered, but um, it looks okay. So. So we'll pick our seal out so inside here what you have in the end is sorry I'm working a bit slow here I'm just trying to make sense of what's going on in here okay All right so what you have is that that's what it looks like inside and you've got your your seal which is around here so we shall extract that and that looks knackered that I mean, look at the color of it it looks completely gone uh, I 
wish I had some brake cleaner. I definitely just spray this thing. Get rid of all the crap that's in here. Right. What I'll do is I've got some paint preparation wipes. Brake cleaner is ideal, but if you don't have anything, these alcohol wipes are okay just clean all this that stuff another thing to do really is um, inside all these grooves Brush does the trick. <sighs> right. So we'll start now. Assembly. So, let's get our silicone grease, as you can see there. Silicone grease. This is clear, usually it's like a red color. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Make that easy. Let's go here. is making it slippy. <laughs> Jesus. Quite hard, isn't it? Damn! This thing is not a joke.
go. One down, one to go. Okay, what I'll do this time is I'll lube the inside of this bugger. I'm gonna make it easier. I'm gonna put a touch in this too. As I always say, working on cars is beautiful. Isn't it? Oh yeah, look at that. Much easier. So yeah, don't do it that way. <laughs> do it that way. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so that's those in, yeah? Those obviously will leave. Those basically will go on the end of there. Yeah, but obviously take them off for now because our bolts are going to go through there when we refit it to the car. So the next thing, make sure I have clean hands for this because you can't have any dirt on your hands when you put this thing. Because this is the most important part really, is the, um, the O-ring. We'll just grease the O-ring up. And just refit it in there, it just goes straight in. As you can see, that's just in there straight in there you know next step now I remember when I done this a few years ago if I'm not mistaken I remember okay, we can put our valve on our bleed nipple valve for now so it doesn't get lost I remember so that will go over in general. But I'm going to put that over this first. Because I remember when I did my golf ones, I had to do something first that made it easier. And my memory is pretty bad. So. Do it um, just in case. So that will go on that way, which means that it should. Just greasing this whole boot as well. It won't move about and stuff, so nice to just give it a little bit of silicone grease yeah so I'm gonna put that over not fully but till that grooves in that groove so if you look on our old one there's a groove there so we want to get that till it's in that groove yeah that will stop any um, dirt going back yeah so just double check that yeah a little one more a little more grease in there so that it can spin freely as I was saying, that's your groove. Your groove is just on there, so we'll get that where your boot just catches over, like so. So the rest will be caught in there. Right, then, what we'll do, we'll put it 
on its side in more grease again in there Push it in slowly. You may need a little more, please. Something's catching. has to be exactly perfect for it to just slide in. There we go, there we go, see that? It takes a bit of a fight to get it in, but and all we need to do now is clip our ends in. What I usually do is just take the pick a tool and just rub the edge around that and there we have it all done as you could see it didn't take too long there's all our old parts as you can see our old piston lights not very good yeah old piston old seal Put some pieces there, and now where are we? fresh caliper, new piston, new seals, all ready to go. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, do it for yourself if you want to rebuild your own. And um, thanks for watching.